Welcome back to Archetype Origins. I'm not Ben, but I will be building a PC with everyone today. So let's see what we have for parts. The GPU, we have the MSI Gaming Trio Z RTX 3080. CPU, we have Ryzen 7 5800X. Motherboard, we have the MSI B550A Pro. For storage, we have one terabyte of SSD NVMe M.2 SSD. For CPU cooler, Deepcool actually gifted us this. So we have the AG400BK air cooler and it's RGB. So we're really excited to try this one out for the first time. So shout out to Deepcool for the gift. Well, power supply, we got the Sego tip. Sego tip tip tube. 750 watts, 80 plus gold. Look, it matches my outfit. I'm a power supply. Power supply cables, we're using the ones from Asia Horse for power supply extension cables because we don't want to see the stock cables. No, no, no. For the case, we got Zalman Z10 in black. This is our first time using this case. They actually gifted it to us, so we'll unbox it and see what it looks like inside. Stay tuned. So I'm excited to see what it looks like. I think I need an assistant. Something fell out. Oh no, sir. You are smacking me in the face. <laughs> Let's see what I dropped. I dropped an extra component for front mesh panel. So I guess there's swappable front panels. Where's up? Wow. I feel like you guys would like to see the other side better. So it looks like this. Pretty standard glass front panel. Glass side panel, mesh top, plenty of room for fans. It's quite big, actually. Decent size. I kind of want to see what's in the other box with the front mesh panel. But let's see how to open it. And again, Zalman kindly sent this to us to try out. So we didn't pay for it, but they're also not paying us to say anything specific. So let's take a look. Ooh, vertical mount bracket. Four Zalman fans. I want to make sure I get everything to see what's all here. So let's take off the back. Quite standard metal case, little user manual. All this stuff is hiding inside the hard drive compartment. I couldn't get the box out without taking this out. It's so cute. Very good for packing. It's the exact size as a hard drive. Oh, the only thing that was in there was this, so never mind. So it looks like even though it comes with the ability to vertical mount it here, it doesn't come with the PCIe extension cable, so you would need to purchase that separately if you wanted to mount your GPU vertically. But luckily for us, Zalman thought of that ahead of time, and they also sent us their uh, PCIe riser cable. So we will have that, and we can vertical mount this build. But just keep in mind, it's sold separately, so if you're getting this case, and you want a vertical mount, you make sure that you have PCIe riser cables. Otherwise, your GPU is going to be floating there and not connected to anything. So the case is really neat, though, because you can also remove this. And then there's these little guys. You can slot them all in. And then you can get this to be horizontally mounted. So I think I'll try and do both configurations so you can kind of see what they look like with both options. So, so for the four fans that I mentioned earlier, they're pre-installed. They're all four. All four of them are ARGB. And then come look at them. They're the infinity style where it's mirrored and you can just keep looking inside of them. Pretty. And while I was looking at the fans, I also saw this huge dust filter compartment, which is super good because the fans are usually where all that dust and grime builds up and it slides right in. So satisfying. I wanna know how to take off this glass panel. I don't think I can. There's gotta be a way to take off the front panel. I'm usually looking for screws, thumb screws, like regular screws or like a lap. Oh, hello. Maybe I just hit myself in the face. So this whole thing does come off, which is super good because you wouldn't be able to change the fans without them. Look at the fans. So pretty. So there's something else that came in the box. It said mesh front. I'm gonna see what that's all about. This one came in the box. Extra component front mesh panel. Ooh, so if you don't like that glass look, it seems like you can install this one. Not sure how, but you can change this out. Sometimes I do read instructions. So it seems like this glass panel just comes off the bottom. 
And then you can change it to the mesh. It's so messy here right now. Okay, I did take some time off camera to try and get off this glass panel. So there was four screws here. They were located here on the bottom part of the front. On the bottom part of the front panel. I unscrewed them and it literally just falls right off. So this piece comes off and it's like this. So then we can remove this bottom part. It seems to be symmetrical, so I think it's the same on both sides. Clip. It just clips in, and then this piece slides right back in here. Look at this riveting YouTube content. Clips back in, and then this slides back into here. Ooh, push it all the way. And then this line can close right here. So now that that's back on there, where's the screw? We'll put the screws back in where they came from. Okay, now that the screws are back in, you just Slip it into place like so. Apply a little pressure. Click, click. Wow. So I actually really like the look of this mesh. It feels pretty nice. It looks really cool. They're like little cubes. So I think we're gonna keep this one on. This case is super nice because it's so customizable. You can choose the glass front, you can choose the mesh front, and for the GPU, you can choose to vertically mount it or you can do horizontal mount it. So it comes already with the vertical mount bracket. And then if you wanted to do the standard horizontal mount, it also comes with the VGA support. So you can support your GPU. No sag, no sag. All right, now that we got that little time lapse out of the way, let's talk about this little guy. We've never used this cooler, but we're a big fan of deep cool in general. They always have really reliable products, especially at their price point. Um, you can't get much more bang for your buck than going with deep cool. So let's unbox this. All the mounting brackets, directions which we don't read unless we need help. She's quite chunky, so decently sized, not small by any means. This specific so mom and dad are at the front door. This specific model comes with a 120 millimeter ARGB fan. Some CPU air coolers have the option of mounting a fan to either side. That way you can pass the air through a little bit better. It looks like this specific model does not have that option. It only comes with the one fan mounting bracket. You can see it has eight heat pipes, so that should help a lot with the heat dissipation. Build quality feels really nice. I wish you could touch it with me. Well, yeah, they do make good quality, so. Yeah, it feels very like accurate. I don't know how to describe it other than feels accurate, but it definitely feels quality. Let's bring my motherboard back. Looks like it comes with a lot of different mounting options. So when I joked and said that you won't need this, you probably will need this, but check your manual to see which mounting option you're gonna go with. It looks like for us, since we're doing AM4, we're gonna be needing this one. So I'll set it aside for now. And then for screws, we're gonna be using these little guys. They look like little clay pots that I put my plants in. And what else is in here? It looks like this is for the Intel option. Look at this little thermal paste. It's like a little hot sauce. We won't be needing any of that. So we're gonna remove these two so that we can mount our mounting bracket. So after I got done telling my parents who are so kindly visiting to shh for the video, we can continue. So now we got the screws out. We can take these out. We won't be needing them anymore. Let's see if I'm gonna need the back plate. I don't think so. I do think so. So we're gonna put these little plant pot looking things on here. They're so cute. This one with these little screw things. Do you see the little screws? These are gonna be facing upwards. So now that we have these in and the screws mounted, we're ready for our third. I kicked the camera. I'm so sorry, guys. Again, for thermal paste, we're using the Arctic MX4. A little will go a long way. 
If your PC is overheating, check this first. Don't forget. So these two screws here, I don't know if you can see them anymore with the lighting, but there's two little things sticking out and that's exactly where these little guys will go. So because the airflow is gonna be moving through from the case from the front all the way through the back in the exhaust, we're gonna also wanna match that with this. So the intake is gonna be here and the exhaust is gonna be that side. So we're gonna mount it in this orientation. We got two little cables we gotta figure out. So this is the CPU header fan header, CPU fan header, and then this one's the ARGB header. So this one will be ending up up here. And if you have more ARGB components, there's also the splitter too. So you can daisy chain if you have multiple fans that need to be sparkly. Now that everything on the motherboard is more or less ready to go, we're gonna bring our case back and then mount this heavy, heavy baby inside. Okay. Looks like we're missing a whole row of them, so I'll be right back. Motherboard going in. Make sure not to break these cables. We're gonna plug in all of these guys and we'll be right back. It's gonna be Vertically mounted, it's gonna be a tight fit. So I'm going to remove the vertical mount bracket and then do it all outside. We got the graphics card and it's just barely touching the cooler in the back. So for this build, we'll probably actually do the horizontal mount, but I loved trying it. This one's probably a little bit tight. I would probably not do vertical mount with air cooler, so either one or the other. So probably either we would switch to an AIO or we're gonna horizontally mount this or standardly mount this. So that's what we're gonna do. But let's get some shots of this and then later I'll switch it. It looks pretty good vertically mounted, but because there's not much space here, let's horizontal mount it. It should be pretty easy, so let's do it. Almost finished. I can't believe there's already a thousand of you subscribed. You cannot believe how much that means to us. Um, if you like these videos, let us know. Or if you have other great ideas as we grow our channel, we want to grow with y'all. So let us know what you're interested in and what kind of videos you want to see more of. And I'll see you next time. NVMe, M. or NVMe, M. Delete. 7,500. No, not 7,500, it's 750. <laughs> Simple <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm.